Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to All Play Games and welcome to a new series. Today we are going to be playing Minecraft. Now I know I mentioned this in the last video that I made, or maybe not the last video that I made. The last Star Wars Battlefront tutorial, actually, that was a while ago. I think we maybe talked about this. Um, yeah, I wanted to try playing some Minecraft because I'm really in like architecture and that kind of stuff, really in like city building. So I'm not going to be like walking around playing survival, whatever that stuff is, and you take down trees. But I actually want to get more into some buildings and try to make our own mini city here. Now I messed around with a couple buildings. These are not the most complicated buildings you guys have ever seen. In fact, they're very simple and they don't have much design to them. I hope that that will maybe be a benefit to this series in a way that you guys can take the buildings yourselves and use those designs in your own world. And I'm gonna show you guys how to build them super, super quickly so you don't have to wait around and spend hours building stuff like this. For example, a building like this probably only took me about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now using a variety of commands and uh, let's get started with the building. Alright guys, now the first thing that it comes to when you're building a building is you're going to need some blocks. Make a good block choice. I mean, there's tons and tons of blocks in this game that you can choose from. And then even if you have modded, then you can go and get some more blocks. I think we're going to try something like a wool. So, we're going to maybe use... What kind of wool are we going to use? You know what? Actually, let's not use a wool. Let's use a block. So, we're going to use granite. Because granite kind of looks good. I'm trying to think about uh, like a financial tower. And maybe something that, you know, there'd be some offices in. So we're going to build something like that. So if you guys just want to follow my design, again, you can use any blocks that you want for this design. And we're just going to be trying it out here. All right, guys. So we've come up with our location here. I'm going to have a little river maybe running through. But one episode, we're going to build one building. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot. But trust me, they will be short little episodes. One building an episode. And these will probably come out every Tuesday, Thursday. But I haven't really decided on the schedule yet. So you guys see what I'm doing here. I'm placing these granite uh, one block apart. And in the middle there is going to be our window. So you guys can decide on how big you want to make this building. For me, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. I don't know why I have all these potion effects. Oh, I have night vision on. But, um, yeah. All right, guys. So, so far we have 11 of these little posts. We're going to actually go up 12, 13, 14. We're going to go with 15. And then we're going to do 15 this way. And then just kind of finish off in a square. Actually, let me bring the other 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, perfect, guys. So finish off this again over here and again right there, and then we'll make a full square. All right, guys. So we have this now, a little bit of a layout done, and uh, it's going to look something like this. So hopefully you guys have that. All right, guys. So once you're done filling those in, you should have something like this. And now we're going to kind of add some windows. We're going to be using white stained glass for the windows, and you're going to just fill it in between each one of these blocks coming along here. Alright guys, once that is done, you have a couple options here. Now usually what I do is I just go three tall and build one story, one of the floors that it's going to look like. But for this building, since it's all going to be the same no matter what the height is, we're actually just going to use a simple command called the clone command. So the first thing that you're probably going to want to do is bring up your F3 coords for, uh, well F3, I mean that's the command. I was just about to tell you what button it was, it's F3. If you're on a Mac, you're going to, you're going to want to press function and F3 and that's going to bring up this command. And what you're going to want to do is look west. Now I don't know if it's different for each world, but I do know that it's directional depending on where you go. Once you're looking west, you're going to grab this corner of the building, so kind of the north corner of the building. So grab the north corner of the building and type in your clone command like that. And once you have that, now you can autofill it or you can go up here and look at the looking at commands and just type that in there. But if you autofill it, it's just using tab, space, tab, space, tab. And now you're going to want to head over here and grab the other cord. Now this is just sort of a faster way of doing this. You could obviously just build it by hand too, but I just wanted to try this out. So we're going to press enter there. And now we're going to go over to this last coordinate right here. And we're going to go like this. Bring up our previous command, which you just use the up arrows. And fill it in one more time. And there we go. So now we're just going to build this up four blocks tall. Like that. And there we go. Now we have our four blocks tall structure. Now the reason why we left the glass in here, this is actually going to go at the end but since it's the window design we left it like that and we're going to want that for the cloning because we're actually going to use this cloning technique to build the entire building all right so now we're taking these two cords just like this so this coordinate right here and this corner right here and we're going to use a command called the fill command now i've already grabbed the first coordinate just like how you did with the clone command so for that corner and for this corner and we're going to make our floor obviously you can pay place this too if you don't feel comfortable with the commands but i'm going to use it like this we're going to go with minecraft stone six so that's polished granite i believe no that's andesite my bad my stone two i think it's granite there we go okay now we have this basic structure laid out you could leave it like this and just build up your building but i like to add a little more detail so we're going to add an inside 
All right, taking down our F3, we can now add some torches on the wall. Like so, and now we're gonna try to put in some offices, or not offices, maybe desks, and just maybe some generic desks, just to add a little bit of detail so when you look at it, we don't want it to rain. We can also clear my effect. Hold on, and that's because it's daytime, so we don't need that effect. We're gonna kind of place some desks like this. Now, I know these don't really look like desks, but it's Minecraft, what can you do? I'm just trying to add a little bit of detail on the inside. There we go, so we've got our desks going along there. We're gonna place down some chairs, and we're gonna continue this on each wall, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, and that's my very basic simple office design where I just put a couple chairs and desks down. I think I'm going to leave it there actually. We're going to find the center of the building now and we're going to place an elevator in. And by elevator, I literally just mean we're going to place some ladders down and a little elevator shaft looking thing. You can have more than one elevator. In fact, you can actually change the entire interior to however you want it. So if you wanted maybe some residential, maybe some uh, apartment units or whatever you wanted, you could actually add that in anywhere that you want in this building. Now there's a lot of open space in this building. But that's because I basically just wanted to leave it empty. You guys can do whatever you want though for the interior and change it to make it the way that you like it. For right now, I'm just going to leave it like this though. And I'm going to show you guys how to make your full-blown skyscraper. Alright guys, so starting at the same corner that you did the very first time on the clone command, we're going to grab that corner. So again, uh, you're facing west, so that's north, and I believe it's the same for every game or for at least for every map. But you definitely want to grab that coordinate or at least mess around with it a little bit on yours. Might be a little bit different. And then grab the other corner here as well, and we're going to place it right here. Actually, one second. We need to remember to place some ladders in here, and then those will get copied all the way up as well. Remember to take out the floor piece here as well, because uh, that's going to be copied through every single floor. All right, now that we are all done that, we're going to come over here, and we're going to place our final command like that. And bang, we've started our building. Now, it looks a little strange right now, I know that. But once it's done, you guys will see how it actually turns out. So keep placing it like this and keep going up as many floors as you want and I'm sure there's a faster way to do this if you clone the saw and paste it on top of each other but we're just going to do this for right now and we're literally just going to place as many floors as we want as high as we want the building to be and uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys when I'm done that All right, guys, and there you have it. This is basically the building. I think we have about two more steps. You might want to check and make sure that all your floors are the same height. Sometimes you might mess up the clone command and the floors aren't going to be the exact same height. But in this case, I think I did it pretty well. Now, I might mess around with the height with this a little bit off camera. For the next episode, it might be a little taller or shorter. I don't know yet. But for right now, we are just going to add our final step. Okay, so pull up the fill command again that you used before to make the floor. And we're just going to do this. Again, you can place the ceiling manually if you don't know how to use the fill command. But this is fairly simple. You just type slash fill. I don't know why this isn't loading. Give me a second. There it is. And uh, we're going to go over to this corner and plus press slash fill again. Get those cords. And again, with the Minecraft stone 2. There you guys have it. The roof will appear in a second. There it is. And uh, that's the roof of the building. Now the building's going to look a little bit more complete. We're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to add the floor of the building. We don't want all these windows here. So we're actually just going to go up here. And guys, we're going to auto fill this. So we're going to press tab on that. That's going to bring us to the cord 61. Or you could rewrite the fill command, but I'm going to do it like this. Enter and that's just going to bring our granite back in the floor. All right, guys. So find the center of the building. Maybe grab a little uh, entrance like this and fill it in. There we go. We have an entrance. And now we might want to clear out the first couple floors, maybe uh, take out the first two or three floors and make a lobby. But I'm not going to do this in this episode. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. If you guys are interested in doing that, let me just show you really quickly what it would take. If you're going to take the fill command, you're going to grab this. You're going to go up maybe uh, two floors. And we're going to grab the corner of this floor. And we're going to grab it right under the torches because we want the torches to stay. And we're going to go Minecraft Air, Enter, and there we have it. We have a nice big open lobby here. Let this just all disappear. And like so. Hello. Get out of here, please. There it is. And now we're just going to bring the elevator back down like so. And add whatever kind of desks and whatever else you need in the lobby. 
Anyway, guys, that is going to conclude the first episode of this. That's our first tower. I do like it a lot. It does kind of look like a bank tower. I think we definitely succeeded at that. And we will add more and more towers to the city as we go along the series. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to go down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys all in the next one.